So in this video, Laura and Ian are gonna show us how to perform CPR and use an AED. Laura's gonna approach the scene, ensure that it is safe, and she's gonna come across a patient that is unresponsive. She's gonna tap and shout to ensure that the patient is indeed unresponsive, and then she's gonna call 911 and get someone to grab an AED. Now with COVID-19, Laura's gonna place a surgical mask, or you could put a towel over top of the patient's face. She's gonna expose the chest to ensure that the patient is not breathing, seeing if the chest is rising and falling. This patient is not breathing, so she's gonna start performing hands-only CPR. Notice that her elbows are actually locked in place and she's performing CPR at a rate of about 100 to 120 beats a minute, and she's compressing about five to six centimeters. Ian's coming with the AED, and the most important thing with the AED is that he is going to turn it on. Notice that the cartridges and pads will all have diagrams on them, showing you exact placement of the pads. Also notice that Ian is actually placing the pads on the chest while Laura is still performing CPR. CPR is a very important skill and you do not want to stop it until the AED is actually analyzing. So when the AED is analyzing, you want to make sure that you're not touching the patient. Analyzing heart rhythm. Shock advised. Stay clear. Shock delivered. Be sure emergency medical So the AED recognized that it was a shockable rhythm, and Ian pressed the button to ensure that a shock was delivered. Now notice Ian is actually continuing the CPR. It is very good for your compressors to actually change every two minutes, which the AED will count two minutes and then it'll reanalyze. 